Hello and welcome to Learn Onshape. I'm Ben Eady. What we're going to cover today is the quick start, is how to get going, how to start using CAD, how to start modeling things up. I'm going to make the assumption that a few of you have gotten 3D printers and we're going to do a 3D printer focused quick start course. And from there, we'll have to see where this takes us. So let's just dig in here. First of all, what we're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to CAD, C-A-D dot onshape dot com. Now, the reason why I recommend that you use Onshape is, is that it's a free online CAD service. You don't really need any specific or awesome hardware for it on your computer. Your standard laptop should be able to handle most of this. The other thing is, is that it doesn't actually require an install on your machine. It's all based in the browser. Now, I've been in the CAD industry since, oh geez, I'm thinking about 94, 95, and I've used most Autodesk products, SolidWorks, Katia, Pro Engineer, which is then changed to Creo and a bunch of others. So I've had a lot of experience in, in the industry and Onshape right now, sort of like the new kid on the block, but they are really, really cool. And for me, it's actually become my tool of choice. So let's continue. You need to go to cad.onshape.com and it has the sign in. Now you can see I already have a sign in for my regular company, but we're gonna just go through the steps to make sure everybody understands how to do this. So. Down here, if you don't see this, you'll see the sign up. Click on sign up. And once we're here, it all depends on what you're doing. If you're going to school and your education, if you're a teacher or if you're a student, create an account through here. Um, it will give you a really good system and a few extras that you wouldn't normally get. Public, now the big difference um, with all of this system here is that with public means that all the models you make are going to be public. So they're all going to be online and anybody can view them if they know how to search and find them. Now, professional, this one here is cheaper than most uh, CAD systems out there, or at least professional CAD systems. And this one is one of the easiest to use. So this is what I'd highly recommend anybody get. But in the meantime, I totally understand if you're just starting and you just want to make a few models and maybe share them with your buddies. This is perfect and it's free and it's not a dumbed down version. It doesn't scale you back. It doesn't hurt you in any way. This is usually just the fact that your models are going to be public. So let's go in here. We're going to create this account. Now you have to give it your first name, last name and an email. So whatever email you have and add your company name and industry, you know, go through all these. Don't kill yourself on trying to figure out what, uh, you know, if you're not filling these in perfectly, well, so be it. I know that it's really good for the company to know what all is going on as far as what your level interest and everything is. In this case, just um, go in and fill them in. If you, if you kind of draw a blank, just grab one, right? I like to have a little bit of fun with these. and create account. So now they should have sent an activation email. Let's go to Gmail. Okay, so now you can see that the uh, account is ready and you gotta go in and activate your account. So once we've got that done, we'll click on it and do the sign up. So learn on sharp quick start. Now we have to give it a password, right? Um, a character minimum, one number, one lowercase, one uppercase and passwords must match. So this is, uh, it can be annoying, but you know, come up with your best password. Agree to the terms and privacy and sign up. So anyways, this is what you're gonna land on. You're gonna have this, this page and it comes with a welcome to Onshape, recommend you watch this movie. It's really quick, it just kind of gives you a rundown. But there you go, you've managed to get in here and you've got everything set up as far as your documents go. Now, once, you, once you're in here, kind of poke around, see what's going on. Uh, what I'm gonna cover in the next video is what all of this stuff means and how to start and create your own files and look at public files that are already existing. Please give me a thumbs up below if you like this video and leave any comments or questions you have below as well.